Well, hi there and welcome to another quick tip. This quick tip is all about InDesign and uh, actually the data merge option within InDesign. Well, I'm going on a field trip next week with, uh, with my students to Dublin. And actually, to be honest, uh, I don't know my students by heart yet. So I have difficulty with their names. So I want to make a, a booklet with all their pictures and their names in it. And I would like to make the booklet the easiest way possible. So what I did was, uh, well, I selected all the, the pictures. Um, I hope you don't mind me blurring the faces out. Uh, I think you understand. Uh, but these are the, the, the students that are going on a field trip with me to, to Dublin next week. And I've put their names uh, inside the Excel sheet. I've got their student number, their age, uh, Mr. or Mrs., their names and their uh, phone numbers to contact them when they are in trouble in Dublin um, and their teachers as well. And uh, I took all the pictures from the uh, school system. So every picture has got their uh, student number .jpeg in this case. And I've got a few teacher pictures as well. And that's me at the end. So that's, uh, that's all the, the, the things that I've pre prepared on beforehand. And now I want to make an Excel sheet, which InDesign understands to data merge it into a nice document. So the first thing that I'll do is make a, a formula in an extra column. That's where the pictures are. So I need to address it uh, in a way that InDesign understands what I'm doing. So I'm going to start with the add sign. So uh, InDesign knows that when something is starting with the add sign, that it's uh, that's all about a picture that we're going to use. Um, and for my structure, I'm going to type picture as well. Um, so this is the thing that InDesign wants. But Microsoft Office doesn't like this that much. Um, because the add sign is already taken uh, for a formula inside of Excel itself. So we are not allowed to use the add sign. But InDesign wants us to, so that's a difficulty. So if you want to say, well, this is really a symbol that I want to use, just use the single quotation mark just before the add sign, and then Excel will approve it. And uh, that's something that you need to do uh, in order to uh, make InDesign understand what you're doing. And now I need to, uh, to put the file path in there. In order to do that, I'm going to go for the get info and just simply uh, select where it is. So I'm going to select the whole path, command C to copy it and paste it in Excel. Only um, this is perfect when you do it for, uh, for Windows. Uh, Windows likes the slashes. Mac prefers the, the column instead of the slash. So there we go. Just replace every slash with a column. Of course, you can do a search and replace as well if your file path is way longer. There we go. So this is the, the file path where the image is. But we need to change it into a formula. Um, in order to uh, add in the file name itself as well. So I'm going to put in the equal sign, use double quotation marks before and after, and this sign. And I'd like to put in the student number. And finally, use double quotation marks dot JPEG as well. So this makes sure that um, Excel will uh, change it into the file path, including the student name and including the .jpg. So there we go. And of course, I will need to make sure that there is a column at the end as well. So demo picks column at the end. There we go. And then make sure that every single cell has got the same formula at the end. Now, all has been taken care of inside of uh, Excel. So now we need to save it in a format that InDesign understands. So I'm going to go for File, Save As, and then use the tab Delimited Text. It's just a text file, so InDesign doesn't understand the Excel sheet itself, but it does understand the tab Delimited Text. Um, faces. Choose for Save. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm pretty positive that's the way I want to do it. And now I'm happy to go back to InDesign to do the design stuff. So I'm uh, 
I'm gonna build in a new document and I'm gonna make a rectangle to fit it all in. Just a little basic design. Um, I want to have a square for the picture. And of course, I would like to put in some text as well. Like the name, uh, student number, uh, age. I want to check if they are allowed to drink alcohol or not. And then finally, the, the phone number. Okay. Now of course, I want to connect this InDesign document to the text file that I've saved on my desktop. So in order to do so, go to Window, Utilities, and there's Data Merge. So we're going to merge the Excel data into InDesign. And just as easy as following these steps, select Data Source, the Faces file, open it up, and that will give us the uh, exact same column names from Excel, uh, which I can use inside of my InDesign document. So I'm going to select the name, hit tab to make it a bit better aligned, and then just uh, use the Mr. or Mrs. column, and then hit the space bar, and uh, use the name, student number, tab again, uh, student number, age, tab, age, and finally the telephone number. And it makes sense that this one is the different type. It not, it's not type, it's, uh, an, it's an image. So you can drag and drop it onto the rectangle. And now it's all set up to make a, a merge document and we can preview it at first. There we go. Um, but of course there are multiple students that I'm bringing along to Dublin. So I'm gonna go for a, a merge document, create a merge document. Um, this is all okay for now. I'm going to use the multiple records. Let's preview it and it will put as much as possible on one page. Of course, you can uh, do a bit of designing. Let's uh, put one in between and 0.5. There we go. Uh, there are several options over here as well about uh, the fitting of the images, for instance, but everything is okay for me. Uh, and I can preview all the pages that have been, uh, that have been made. So that's, uh, that's perfect. I'm gonna hit okay. No overset text, that's perfect. And it has, con uh, and it has converted into a new InDesign document with all the images in there. And of course, because of the fact that this is a new InDesign document, there's no data link anymore to the Excel sheet. Um, so when I go back to the previous one, look for some more options. You can export it to a PDF immediately as well. So when I hit this option, I get exactly the same uh, view again, the multiple record sheet. It's remembered my settings from before. I'm going to hit OK. Let's view the PDF afterwards. It will open up immediately. Export. Where do I want to save it? Well, let's use the desktop. Faces Dublin. There we go. No overset text again. And there's the PDF with all the faces in there. The names, student numbers, ages, and phone numbers. So that's pretty awesome. Really fast and slick way to make uh, a, a document like this for your students when you're going on a field trip. But of course you can use this technique as well when you're making a, a catalog with multiple objects uh, with their name descriptions in there. It's a really nifty option uh, in InDesign which can help you make a, a brochure or catalog or a, a booklet for, uh, for your field trip with all your students in there. So I hope you will enjoy this technique and, and use it for your own personal projects as well. Bye bye for now and I'm heading off to Dublin. Bye bye.